वेलकम ऑल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द टॉपिक कृषि एंड फार्मिंग इट्स एप्लीकेशन एडवांटेजेस एंड डिसएडवांटेजेस बिफोर मूविंग ऑन टू द एप्लीकेशन एडवांटेजेस एज वेल एज द डिसएडवांटेजेस ऑफ कृषि एंड फार्मिंग वी विल ट्रे टू लर्न वॉट इज मीन बाई प्रिशिश एंड फार्मिंग प्रिशिश एंड फार्मिंग इट रेफर्स टू द प्रिसाइज अप्लीकेशन ऑफ अग्रिकल्चरल इनपुट्स विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू सॉइल वेदर and crop need in order to improve the productivity quality and profitability in agriculture it is a modern agricultural practice which involves the use of modern technologies or tools such as remote sensing gps and geographical information system for improving the productivity and profitability in agriculture and also it enable our farmers to use the crop inputs such as pesticides fertilizers irrigation water in a more effective way moreover this effective usage utilization of these resources will bring more crop yield good quality without polluting the environment and developing results in sustainable agriculture and sustainable development moving on to the applications of precision farming the first application is on variable rate application that is the vra vra is one of the main features of precision agriculture that allows us to optimize the use of chemicals fertilizer and other resources and these materials are applied in an automated fashion which is based on the data that is being collected through sensors maps gps gis etc This process involves different forms of precision agriculture technologies like multispectral hyperspectral cameras satellite imagery and application machinery on tractors The second objective of precision farming is on precision planting So this precision planting is an automated approach to optimize the planting of seeds It also allows for better seed spacing better depth control and better root systems there are many pieces of information that are used to make the proper analysis in identifying the optimal condition for planting moving on to the third applications it is the crop health monitoring it is done by ndvi that is the normalized difference vegetation index it is a method that is used to determine the health of crops through the analysis of drones and satellite imagery it looks at various wavelength of light both the visible as well as the non visible to make these calculations and this technology can allow you to assess the general health of your crops and detect the crop variability coming to the fourth objective which is on the crop scouting so this precision agriculture technology also make use of this ndvi but it's also being facilitated through tablets and mobile phones the scouters know they will go with the in the field with the tablet and collect the information data about their crops there are some platforms such as gps uav that analyzes and make meaning out of these data collected this helps our farmers to monitor the pest populations and weed activity on their land and allows farmers to increase the yield and make more money on it coming to the fifth application it's on yield monitoring and forecasting so the yield information can be collected that can be collected either from the satellite imagery and drones or from sensors installed on the farmers machinery so these yield sensor no they can be attached to harvesters or a tractors and collect information on things such as grain yield moisture levels and more more which allow our farmers to make better decisions on when to harvest uh, how to plant for the next season what about the fertilizer usage and analyze the field variability the sixth application is on the detection of diseases pest or weeds so this detection of diseases pest and weeds are another value that comes from drones and hyperspectral imagery so there is a hyperspectral camera called Gamaya hyperspectral camera it is the smallest and most lightweight commercial hyperspectral camera 
that is currently available and this makes it perfect to attach to drones and nano satellite and this gamaya's camera is tightly integrated with softwares to translate raw data into actionable information for the farmers coming to the final application which is on weather irrigation and soil quality the ground based and plant based sensors are used to collect information about the soil as well as the water for soil no these sensors measure the texture organic matter salinity level and nutrient status of that particular soil the weather station so the weather station are used to gather the appropriate weather data which allow our farmers to see how different weather pattern that are affecting our soil as well as the water there are many different technologies for irrigation but very useful one is called the drip irrigation so which allows our farmers to irrigate their land by use of pumps valves that can be manually or automatically controlled now coming to the advantages of precision farming the first advantage is that precision farming will minimize the risk to the environment particularly with respect to the nitrate leachate groundwater contamination by means of optimizing the agricultural chemical products second advantage is that the non uniform field so that can be subdivided into smaller plants based on their unique requirement it also provides the opportunity for better resource management and hence reduce the wastage of resources coming to the disadvantages of precision farming the first point will be the high capital cost which may disc discourage our farmers to not to adopt this method of farming this precision agriculture technique are still under development and requires expert advice before actual implementation it may take several years before the actual collection of sufficient data to fully implement the system the final one is that it is an extremely difficult task particularly the collection and analysis of the data now we'll see how could india benefit from this precision farming first thing is that it can increase the efficiency of irrigation when water resources are low the second thing is that farmers can able to forecast and mitigate the problems which are related to water stress nitrogen deficiency and pest and diseases third one is that it also increases the opportunity for skilled employment in the agriculture sector and also provides new tools for evaluating the multifunctional aspects including non market functions it has the essential role in the monitoring of greenhouse condition in the agricultural fields now coming to the challenges in adopting this precision farming in our country the first challenge will be the adoption of precision farming in india is yet in the nascent stage due to its unique pattern of land holdings its poor infrastructure the lack of farmers inclination to take the risk the social and economic condition and demographic conditions the second thing will be on the small size of land holdings in most of the indian agriculture which limits the economic gains from currently available precision farming technology third one is that the rapid socio economic changes such as the economic growth urbanization and energy consumption are creating new opportunity for the application of precision farming in india instead of blindly adopting the advanced precision agriculture technologies adopted by various developed countries india should adopt technologies based on the need of the socio economic condition of the country these are the references thank you